Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Magista X Proximo Street Indoors in the latest multicolor colorway. Now inside the box they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is black in color with black strings. You're going to find white Nike football branding on one side and a white Nike swoosh on the other. Other than that, all you're going to find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what I think is a really good looking colorway of the Magista X Proximo Street. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over all the details on this particular variation of the Magista X, tech specs, the overall colorway, how these things fit and feel, the weight, everything you could possibly want to know. So if you are interested in learning more, please stick around, watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, click the very first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $150 retail price. Right. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of this particular color scheme. I like that it has a black base. I like the white accent color in the swoosh as well as the outsole. And I think that the way that they implemented the multicolor aspect here is really cool because it shows off the knitted aspect of this fly knit upper. So black obviously does take up the majority of the upper, the fly knit collar and exposed fly knit here going across the top of the laces, including the lace and laces themselves, solid black, no accents whatsoever. And then of course the Nike skin covered area, which is clear by the way, features a combination of turquoise blue, which obviously has been featured on quite a few Magista Obra colorways, as well as purple. So it's kind of knitted in between all the little black kind of hexagons on the Magista upper, um, and it's completely random. So you can see the left and right shoe are both different in terms of how the colors interchange, and that's the multicolor aspect here. Definitely not as flashy as what you're gonna find on the multicolor Mercurial X Proximo Street, but still something that I think looks really, really good. Just a little bit more subtle. Um, the combination of blue and teal, I think looks absolutely fantastic. It accents well with the rest of the shoe. You have a white accent in the Nike swoosh on both the lateral and medial side. Um, the Magista X branding in white going down the back of the collar. And then the entire midsole and outsole is solid white in color aside from the single black Nike swoosh positioned right under the heel. So that's pretty much it in terms of the colorway itself. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. In terms of performance, I'm a big fan of the Magista X Proximo Street. A lot of people like to ask me what's my favorite of the Nike X indoor models, uh, the Mercurial X Proximo, the Hypervenom X Proximo, or the Magista X Proximo. In all honesty, it is the Magista X line, mainly because I like that it has the Obra upper. That's my preference of the, the Hypervenom, the Superfly, and the Obra. And I also like the more padded feel that this outsole provides with the Lunar Lawn cushioning. It's more significant, more substantial than what you're gonna find from the other two lines, which may not be your cup of tea, but based on what I like, I like the Magista X Proximo Street. Now, being that this is the street variation of the Magista X Proximo, you're probably gonna notice that it does not have the leather upper covering that we saw on the original Proximo Street release from Nike. The reason for that is unknown. I couldn't tell you at all. I think that the original release was kind of a one-off from Nike. Not sure that we're gonna see a leather upper covering again. Uh, so if you are planning on buying anything from the Magista X line, whether it's the Proximo or Proximo Street, unless it's that original colorway, there's no difference aside from the color. So just keep that in mind. And that can be said about the Mercurial X as well as the Hypervenom X line as well. Some have the street name at the end, some do not. There's actually no difference aside from that original Magista X Proximo Street variation. So with that said, essentially what you're getting here with the Magista X Proximo Street is the Magista Obra Upper on an indoor or turf bottom. This happens to be the indoor variation. You can also get it with a turf variation, uh, depending on what type of surface you're gonna be using them on. And for the $150 price tag, while it's expensive for a pair of indoors, it's actually a pretty good value if you just really wanna try out one of the uppers from these $275 Nike shoes. You can buy a firm ground Nike Magista Obra for $275, 
or you can get an indoor model with the exact same upper for 150, actually a little bit less if you use those coupon codes on the review page of my website, first link down below. So if you're just dying to try out one of these uh, mid-cut flying it models from Nike, this is the cheapest way of doing so. Uh, with that said, the upper that you're getting here is very premium. It's a Flyknit construction, uh, the more, most padded of uh, the two Flyknit models currently on offer from Nike. I don't really include the Phantom 2 because the majority of the upper isn't actually uh, made from Flyknit, but you're going to find that this is heavily, uh, more heavily padded than what you're going to find on the Superfly 4, which is relatively thin. Um, it does have a very dense knitted pattern on it. You have a padded liner on the inside, you have the Nike skin covering, and it makes for a feel that is thin, but like I said, doesn't lack that slightly cushioned sensation on the ball, which I personally really like the feel of. It does have a lacing system that is positioned slightly to the medial side of the shoe, which is somewhat unusual, um, kind of taken from the CTR 360 line, but something that I find to be very comfortable, and it just works well in general on this shoe. And you're also gonna find that this does have the ACC All Conditions Control branding, so um, while it's an indoor shoe, you're probably not gonna be using it in wet weather all that often. If you are using this as a street soccer shoe and it happens to be wet outside, or the streets are wet for whatever reason, uh, you do have that all conditions control feature, which is kind of nice. The only difference that you're really gonna find coming from a Magista Obra to this shoe is that little bit of extra sandpaper-like texturing running along the toe and forefoot area of the shoe, mainly to add a little bit of grip on the ball as well as just be an added layer of protection. And you're also gonna find that the lip here is made from solid rubber, comes up pretty high, and again, kind of just protects the high wear areas on the sole and the upper where they kind of meet each other. Um, so durability and sole separation in general should not be too big of a concern with this particular shoe. You do of course have the mid-cut dynamic fit collar design here, um, and exter internal heel counter, sorry, liner on the inside, the collar, really doesn't do anything in regards to performance. It's there more for looks and to provide more of a seamless kind of sock-like type of feel. It takes some getting used to at first, but once you get used to it, it's not something you really notice all that much when you're wearing the shoes. Insole fully removable, exact same insole you're gonna find on the Magista Obra, mesh liner on top, perforations throughout. And you can see it's just made from a single layer of this yellow foam. And then moving on to the outsole, you're gonna find pretty much full length Lunar Lawn foam. You can see the branding right there. Lunar Lawn is a foam that you're gonna find on a lot of high-end Nike running shoes. Um, it's cushioned, it's responsive, but it doesn't feel mushy. And uh, as you guys can see, there's a pretty good amount of it here. Definitely the most substantial cushioning you're gonna get of all the Nike X models. Uh, so if you don't wanna be, if you wanna be really close to the ground, that's kind of not what these are all about. This is gonna provide something more along the lines of a very low profile running shoe in terms of cushioning. Uh, so again, it really depends on what you like. I personally like to have a little bit of impact protection under my feet when I'm using any kind of indoor shoe. But again, if you want something uh, more low profile, you're probably better off going for the Hypervenom X or Mercurial X lines um, in regards to traction. Obviously this is the indoor variation. It performs really, really well on indoor courts. Even if they are a little bit dusty, it's obviously good to wipe the bottom of the shoe every couple of minutes just to maintain optimal traction if you are playing on a dirty floor. Um, and in regards to how they work on concrete or any kind of street type of environment, the grip is really good and the durability is also good, which is important for any indoor shoe if you are gonna be using them outside. Again, they have that big, large kind of rubber lip going around the edges, which seems to hold up really, really well. Um, and again, it's just a great indoor bottom uh, in general, whether you wanna use it on indoor courts or as a street soccer shoe, kind of what the name would suggest with the Proximo Street name. So that's pretty much it in terms of what you need to know uh, about the Magista X Proximo Street in the indoor variation in regards to performance. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comment section. And with that said, let's move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are. In terms of weight, the Magista X Proximo Street is not the lightest indoor shoe on the market by any means, but that shouldn't surprise too many people. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna weigh them for you today in real time using this scale. Keep in mind, this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. We're gonna throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 9.5 ounces, the equivalent of 269 grams. So again, if you're looking for that really slim, low profile, lightweight feel on feet, that's not what you get here with the Magista X Proximo Street. Do they feel heavy? 
Absolutely not, but the type of feel that it does provide is one that's a little bit more padded than what you're gonna find from the other Nike X models. Uh, it also has a lot more impact protection in terms of underfoot cushioning, and you get a significant amount of rubber, which adds a lot of weight to the shoe, even though it technically has the upper of a Nike Magista Obra that's about two and a half ounces lighter than these guys. So again, they don't feel heavy on your feet by any means, but it's definitely a feel that is more based around comfort than being as light as possible. So again, really depends on what you're looking for. But for me personally, I'm a big fan of how these things feel, regardless of whether or not they're seven ounces or 10 ounces, right at nine and a half ounces, I think that's a pretty good sweet spot. And uh, they don't feel heavy, they don't feel light, they're kind of right there in the middle. All right, so here is a look at the Magista X Proximo Streets on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock of black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of white with black dots SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, be sure to check out the website www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, they are pretty comfortable from right out of the box. Now, if you haven't worn a mid-cut Flyknit model from Nike before, they will feel a little bit strange. You'll have all the same kind of break-in troubles, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, as everyone else who wears these for the first time, they feel a little bit stiff in the heel and just somewhat unusual in general. Break them in slowly, avoid getting any blisters, take them off when they feel uncomfortable. And after a few wears, they should feel pretty good and just good to go in general. Um, the discomfort is, like I said, something that's caused more by people wearing these things to the point where they have a blister as opposed to just taking them off when they start to feel discomfort. If you do that, break them in slowly, you're not going to have any major issues whatsoever, mainly blisters. So once you do get used to how they feel, they feel really, really good. If you've worn Magista Obras in the past, you're not going to have any issues with these. They'll feel pretty normal from the get-go. And like I said, they're comfortable shoes. The upper is soft, it's flexible, it feels great against your foot. The mid-cut design has that same feel that you're gonna get from all the other mid-cut models from Nike. Again, doesn't really impact the performance in any way, but it does give you that seamless sensation where it feels like the shoe flows from your ankle onto your foot, as opposed to something that's just being strapped to your foot. They're responsive, they hold your feet in place really nicely. And again, it has a very similar feel to that of the Magista Obra. In terms of underfoot cushioning, you're a little bit higher off the ground and you get that nice kind of responsive feel from the Lunar Lawn Foam. Very, very well cushioned, lots of impact protection, especially in comparison to the Mercurial X line. Uh, and again, they're just comfortable shoes overall um, in regards to width. Uh, they're gonna be suitable for most people, just like the standard Magista Obra. The upper's not gonna stretch, mainly because you do have those Brio cables along with the Flyknit upper that isn't really gonna give. So the way they fit from right out of the box is the way they're gonna fit for their entire lifespan. Uh, so if you do have overly wide feet, perhaps not the best option for you, but again, they will be suitable for most people. And also like the Magista Obra and the Magista line in general, they run a half size small. So instead of wearing my usual size nine US, I bumped it up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right guys, that is it for my review of the Magista X Proximo Street Indoors from Nike. Again, if you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, click the very first link down below in the description of this video. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find high quality images of this exact pair, along with buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $150 retail price. So again, if you want a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you do have any questions at all regarding the Magista X Proximo or Proximo Street, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.